This is Alan Bush with the Daily Financial Forecast for Thursday, October 8th. Stock index futures putting in a very good performance today, as now it appears that there may be a bit more optimism as far as some type of fiscal stimulus package. Also, the S&P now trading at its highest level since June. So the technical picture for the indices seems to be improving. Moving over to the currency markets, the dollar index, a little bit higher today, the euro currency under some mild pressure. Some of the weakness that we are seeing in the uh, euro today linked to the release of the minutes from the most recent ECB policy meeting where they indicated that there is a possibility of taking negative interest rates to even more negative territory. So that tended to undermine the euro currency to some degree. Interest rate futures markets seeing the bonds trading a little bit higher today after yesterday falling to new lows for the move. Also, we do have some supply today with the Treasury auctioning 30-year bonds. I would not be surprised to see the bonds moving to closer to the unchanged level from these higher prices that we are currently seeing. Also, longer term, still looks like futures at the long end of the curve will probably come under pressure. Gold and silver trending basically with the dollar, so with the dollar Coming off of its lows, the gold and silver is a little bit weaker on today, but I would not be surprised to see both gold and silver uh, recovering and trading uh, a little bit higher later today. Also, the longer-term outlook on the precious metals seems to be uh, looking more bullish as some central banks around the world, uh, not necessarily here in the U.S., are looking at uh, keeping their accommodation extremely uh, at low levels as, as far as the interest rate policies and may become even more accommodative. So good trading everyone and once again remember these are my opinions alone and are not the opinions of ADMIS or ADM.